gonna take you to get you something you've never had before. And what did what do we call it? What's it called? TV dinner. A TV dinner. She says she's never had a TV dinner. She has no idea what it is. She's gonna pick one out today just for fun. And we're going to see what she thinks of them. She actually really liked it, but I think if you'd ask her again, she'd say, Mama's cooking is always better. All right, everyone, now we're going to make our own homemade TV dinners. I made a lot of extra spaghetti, and today I'm preparing meals to put in the freezer. So what I am doing is, I'm gonna put the spaghetti in here, and one of these is one serving, then I'm going to freeze one slice of bread. Actually, let me go with two slices of bread per each meal. Then we're gonna freeze these all together in their own little kit, in their own little bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the bread in these bags. While the spaghetti is finished cooking, and this is what you can do to just about almost all of your leftovers. So make a big meal and then you can freeze it. So on days when I'm busy or the kitchen is hot and I don't feel like cooking, I can just pull out one of these meals. I am using Martin's potato bread and Martin's potato bread is from our local area and I like the name Martin's because Martin name has a lot to do with my life. I'll let you all try to figure that out. The Martin name is something that's very important to me personally. It's even a part of my identity. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And now we're going to go and see if the noodles are done. And we're going to put them in these little freezer containers. All right, so now we're just going to put our spaghetti in each of these dishes. I cooked a pound and a half of noodles. That will give us a meal for today, and then I can have all of these. We want to leave enough of room for the sauce. The sauce will go on top along with some Parmesan cheese. This is actually a lot of fun doing this because you're cooking already. So you're just making a couple more meals. And since you're adding the bread, now you have a little more of a filling meal. And then of course, you could always have salad with it. This is great if you have children and families. You can get your children to help you make these freezer meals. Now we don't want to put the lids on them until they are partly, at least fairly cool. You don't want to put them in hot. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this can stay in the freezer up to almost a year. All right, now let's go put the sauce on. So 
So we have our meat sauce and one ladle spoonful would be plenty. All right, now we're gonna let them cool for a little bit. We're, when you put them in your freezer, try to stagger them in the freezer until they're frozen solid. That way everything gets cooled down the same amount of time. My grandma always taught me that, that you don't wanna put all your food at the same place if you're putting it in, because sometimes the food in the center may not freeze for a couple days. But if you stagger them in your freezer, then you'll have plenty of room. You could do this with so many different things. One day, I was so hungry for spaghetti and I didn't feel like cooking. And I got one of the Marie Callender's frozen spaghetti meals. And all it was, was a little bit like this. And a couple, and two pieces of bread. And they wanted like $4 for it. And now look how reasonably I made it. The noodles cost me a dollar and 50 cents for all of the noodles. The sauce for me was free. And I added about eight ounces of ground beef, which was a couple dollars, but look how many meals we are making. All right, so now we have that done. This is a bread. Now I'm gonna do two in one bag. That way it's a meal for hubby and a meal for me. Now you get some twisty ties. When you're freezing the bread, you wanna make sure that you don't have anything on top of it, at least until it's frozen solid. So now we have all of these meals. In the amount of time it took me to film this, we have them done. Now that's all the bread I have, so I'm just gonna freeze these meals now without the bread and then I can serve bread later. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna put twisties on these and then I'll put them in the freezer. Mm -hmm.